Welcome to this new video. This video is regarding month to date direct query that is MTD in direct query. We are going to use adventures work for this example. So month to date direct query means okay in a year 12 months are there. So according to month to date means okay whatever sales or whatever total is happening that cumulative sum of this dates according to with respect to the month we are going to take. That means all the values or all the sales totals from this month 1st to month 31st will be added with respect to each day so second day it will be a first day and second day will be added on the second day and these three days will be added to the third day so like that the cumulative sum will be taken until the end of the month and from the next month okay once again it is going to start so it is almost similar to year to date but and only problem is that you need to do more conditions to this for import mode you have an option for time intelligence function like dates mtd so for direct query mode you can't use any time intelligence function so we are going to do certain conditions and we are going to solve this problem. So first itself, you need to remove the filter from the date table. Otherwise, in the table or whichever chart you are going to put, it will start filtering with respect to the existing filter. So first you need to take away the filter. The next one is that you need to give conditions to the date. And the first condition should be the year should be the maximum year. That means the current year. And the month should be the maximum month and the current conduct of the month. That will be the current maximum of the month. And the date should be less than or equal to the maximum date also. So we will try an example and we will see how it is working. We are, we are having a data set for adventures work and we have two tables taken just for having this example one is the date table and another is the fact table so of course you are going to get the sales amount from this fact table and we are going to get the date column from this date table so for that we are going to we will select a matrix table and so it will be looking properly and it will be looking very productive more than the ordinary table so first we will select the date and to get the date from the date table the date is in the column of full date alternate that is the date column so we will select that because we got the date we can rename the date we got the date column so next we will be getting the sales column so you can go to the fact table and you can get the sales amount this is just for the calculation whether we need to check whether it is coming properly whether the month to date is coming properly since we are not using the mtd formula so next one is that we are going to write the formula for mtd so we can create a new measure and you can create it as mtd for sales equals to so you can calculate the sum function sum of sales amount and now we will use a filter function so the first parameter will be the table. In that table, we are going to give the date table. So before giving the date table, we will remove the filter from the date table. So you can use the all function or you can use all selected. You can take out the filter and then we will give the calendar table. That is the dim date. And then we will give the condition for this. And the condition should be the year should be less than or equal to sorry the year should be equal to maximum year so year is this calendar year cost. so calendar year should be equal equal to max of calendar year and one more condition you need to give so we will use the am and then you have to get the month so you have a column called month number of year so we will use that month number of year equals to max month number of year and once again you need to give the hand now you need to give the condition that the date should be less than or equal to maximum date so the date column is full alternate full date alternate so you have to use that full date alternate key should be less than or equal to max of full date alternate key and you can do you can close all the closing brace and you can just press and enter and now we will select the measure and see whether it is coming properly yes we got the measure and we got the details also so this is with respect to the december month of 2010 and you can see the only three values are there three dates are there and it got added cumulatively and all the three values you got but it is mtd you can confuse it with ytd so we can calculate the next month also january january 1st is the same amount is showing in both the columns but then if you see the mtd sales it is increasing but this, that is because it is taking the cumulative it is taking the sum of 
of all the dates and it should take till the 31st of january so for 31st of january it got almost till 4 lakhs and it stopped and this is what mtd will do because it will take the cumulative of all the days and in a month so from the next month it is taking once again and it is getting added so this is what exactly what mtd does and for import mode you have the time intelligence function but for direct query you don't have you can use this function or you can use this logic for getting the mtd states hope this will be interesting and it will be useful for you you can also use a slicer to select the perspective views which you need to get and you can make it more meaningful in the visual thank you have a nice day